All my life I've heard stories of Leonidas. I can't believe I'm finally seeing where history was made. Thermopylae. They say you can't walk this battlefield without getting blood on your toes. This is where Leonidas was laid to rest. I wish I had known him. If you close your eyes, you can hear them. Their final war cries. Before every last one of those brave Spartans perished. Their voices were silenced that day. But their story will be sung for an eternity. Very poetic. Now, can we please go to Athens? We can talk about the dead on the way. Patience. I didn't bring you here to talk about the dead. I brought you here so you can learn to protect the living. How can I protect the living if I'm hanging around statues of lions? Hold out your spear. My spear? What for? I need to know something. Herodotos. I'm fine. I'm fine. The stories are true. That is the spear of Leonidas. The hero's blade. Where were Sparta's allies? The Spartans weren't alone in facing Xerxes and his hordes. Many from across the Greek world were armed and ready to fight alongside Leonidas and his 300. But when the mighty king looked into their eyes and saw fear, he sent them home. That sounds like madness, not bravery. It was foretold by the Pythia that Sparta would lose either its freedom or its king to the Persians. Leonidas made his choice. What happened to Leonidas after the battle? Xerxes was famous for honoring warriors who fought valiantly against the Persians. But Leonidas infuriated him so much, he cut off his head and impaled it on a pike. A bloody battle ensued, and his remains were reclaimed by the Spartans and buried here. Now, however, he rests where he belongs. In Sparta. What happened to the traitor, Ephialtes? King Xerxes paid him well. 
But treachery breeds treachery. A contract was put on his head, and he died as he lived. A coward. You knew this would happen. I didn't know, but I did suspect. There is a place I convinced myself was a dream. Until now. A peculiar structure on the island of Andros. Mysterious shapes carved in stone. Like nothing I've ever seen. You want to sail to Andros so you can show me shapes? In my travels, I heard whispers of an ancient civilization. A people who came before. Your spear and that place are connected. You mentioned the people that came before. Who were they? They were not gods, but they lived far longer than any mortal and were far more intelligent. I've seen carvings in caves, strange symbols that suggest it was this ancient civilization that created humankind and provided them with fire. But Zeus blamed Prometheus. Yes. Well, perhaps his eagle has been feasting on the wrong liver. The spear awakened to you, Herodotus. I trust you. You understand? I will do everything in my power to help you find your mother. I promise. But first, we must sail to the island of Andros. I'll meet you at my ship. Welcome aboard the Adrestia, Herodotus! Would you be traveling with us? Only for a short trip. I have business to attend to in Athens. Herodotus is helping me find my mother. Seeking help from the gods has put Herodotus on your path, just like they put you on mine. They work in ways beyond our comprehension. Join me, noble one. Here it is. Is that a door? I've never seen anything like it before. How do I get inside? I wonder if... Hesitation only hastens. The grave, I know matter. Your form is improving. Your resolve is strong, but you're not taking action. I was going to. I know, but it's the moments in between that decide everything. Your turn. Now I need a spear. You're old enough now. My father's spear holds a certain burden, but you're ready. I felt something. Huh? The spear. It has magic. It carries with it a long line of power. A bloodline of incredible heroes. The same blood within you and me and our family. All of us? Think of Leonidas. He had great courage. And he made a great sacrifice. You share in his blood and the strength he possessed. We are able to feel certain things happening around us. That 
is our family's gift. But not everyone understands that. Some recognize the power we bear and want it only for themselves. They will try to take it from us. I won't let them. I know. You're a warrior. If we keep moving forward, always moving forward, we're untouchable. Storms coming in. Then maybe we should move forward now. <laughs> Mother, I haven't forgotten you. Gods, who built all this? How does a place like this exist? How could I even explain this to someone like Marcos? Something's glowing over there. Themos. The Forge. I knew I let you stay in the Animus too long. Your vitals are crashing. You don't understand. This confirms it. Alexios didn't just have Isu technology, he had the means to improve it. Imagine how powerful the staff could be. I admit, that could be an incredible find. But right now, I'm the doctor, and I take care of you. Now get some rest before you go back to Alexios. You insist, but only because I've got work to do on the outside. Please, just clear your head. The last thing we need is a cell leader suffering from the bleeding effect and spearing us because we're Hittites or Thracians. I won't. The Thracians throw great parties. Don't forget, we're a team. We'll back you up until you're finished your investigation. I know. Kyoshi secured the loft yesterday and he's keeping an eye out. Elena's on call doing historical research. And I'm here to talk if you're feeling any confusion from the Animus. Always the therapist. So, Doctor, how do you feel now that we're closer than ever to the staff? I believe this staff is important. But the Templars and Assassins have found staves of Eden before. Nikolai Tesla blew one up in Russia, if I remember correctly. This is different. If what I saw in Egypt is true, this staff doesn't control minds. It controls physics. Time. Imagine rewriting the rules of the universe. The spear you found is right here, and it's not doing anything. The spear's attached to a bloodline. Leonidas, Alexios, and Themos, I mean, Cassandra. They were intimately connected to it. Are you sure you can use the Staff of Hermes, then? No. But if the Templars get it, they won't stop until they find someone who can. So, what do you think of my new Animus? You mean, our new Animus? That's Abstergo equipment. Which I've modified to within a millimeter of its digital life. 
It's an Animus console prototype Brahmin variant with the IO capacities pushed to their max, ultra portable with more calculating power than NASA and CERN combined. I'll go stretch my legs. Too bad we don't have access to the Absurgo gym anymore, huh? Membership costs too much. Fascinating. Layla, can you believe we're meeting Herodotos himself? I can. He sure does talk a lot. Is there anything I can help you with? So, does what I'm seeing as Alexios match your research? I had to tweak the Animus to use what we have of the book as a reference. That book is a lost work by Herodotos. He basically invented the concept of recording history. And other figures are matching up too. Cleon, Pericles... The chance to see the past firsthand is why I joined the Assassins. Most people would talk about justice or leaping across rooftops, but history's cool too. I've loved history since my grandpa told me stories about his grandpa back in Ireland. He was an adventurer and sailor, so I'm continuing the family tradition. I feel so lucky. You make your own luck, remember? Why do people keep telling me that? So I've met Irodotos, but I don't know much about him. He's brilliant. His histories are considered the foremost textbook of classical Greece. People have made their careers analyzing his words for some new perspective. To see him in his own world, walking in the polis, and... Sorry, but he's kind of a hero of mine. You can fangirl all you want. Yay! I'll leave you to your work. If you need anything, just let me know. The center of the universe, circa 400 BCE. Eagles are fine and all, but a pet monkey would be even cooler. Are you sure you want to go back? No, I should look around somewhere before- Good. Come back when you're ready. How's it going out there? Well, no threats in view. I'm glad we could work together again. I believe our working methods are compatible. Are you still upset about our last run-in with Abstergo? I'm sorry, I didn't realize those hills in Quebec were so steep. But hey, you and your Yakuza reflexes saved us. Sorry, ex-Yakuza. We're all alive and our injuries have healed. That's what matters. Of course, I'll return to the Animus, then follow the trail Irodotos left to find the staff. But there's so many possibilities, so many choices. There's no way to know which ones are right. You used to run part of the Japanese Brotherhood. What would you do? Take things one step at a time, observe then act, or kill everyone and search their pockets for answers. You decide. Thanks for watching our backs, Kiyoshi. I'll leave you to your work. I'll report in if Abstago drops by. Looks third echelon. Or was it fourth? Too bad we had to leave before we could drink some more caribou. Eager to re-enter, I see. Yes. I'm ready to go back to Alexios. All right. I'll be watching your back. Spear is stronger now. The cult won't stand a chance.
Well, Herodotus will be happy. It's clear. Someone was here far before we were. Did Leonidas know this place existed? You're not hard to track. Did you come alone? Are you all right? <laughs> Cassandra, you're alive. Don't touch me. Oh, come on, little sister. You have to tell me everything. What's happened to you? I don't have to tell you anything. I don't know you. Well, I know you. It doesn't matter. There's more important things to argue about. You're right. Like that stunt you pulled with the artifact. It got my attention, if that's what you wanted. What? The artifact showed the truth. We're family, and we made it out of Sparta, alive. Yes, it did show the truth. It confirmed what I always knew. You threw me off a fucking mountain! If that's what you think, Cassandra, you must have hit your head on the way down. I've heard the story, and not from a liar like you. And never call me Cassandra. Right, Vimos. Now her, I don't know. She's a demigod, worshipped and feared by the cult and all the Greek world. Then why do the cult's bidding? Have you been paying attention? They're following my lead. Then make a choice on your own. Help find our matter. I'm not interested in reunion. I just want to know what you think you're doing. Same thing as your cult. Looking for Mirini, our mother. They don't need her. Your cultists think differently. She's their next target. If they ever pursued her, it would be to kill her. But if you don't know where she is, that means she abandoned you too. How sad. Then, get them off her trail. Send them after me instead. You really do like attention. They'll be after you soon enough, not to worry. And they'll dominate you. They'll have their work cut out for them. I doubt it. The family will be exterminated. If they're after all of us, there's one less person to find. I killed Nikolaus. Yet here you are, acting so righteous. When really, you're just like me. I don't care what you think. I'll find Merini. Do the right thing. Come with me. What? We could find her. Together. You could help me. Oh, you think friendship is the answer? Running around like lost children looking for dear mother. You're so weak. Weak? I've had to kill for much longer than you've had to. Oh, I'm so scared. I have an army behind me. One false move and you're obliterated. That's the plan. Taking your own mother isn't enough for them. We're not abductors. We're political. Those who don't stand with us stand against us, and they pay for that mistake. Like me? Like you. I heard you're planning a trip to Athens. When you go, tell Pericles and his elitist scum. They're next. The cult let Mirini live. They let Nikolaos live. Why kill them now? Because you live. You brought this on her and yourself. The cult is powerful, but they're mortals. I have the blood of gods, so they think you do too. But they'll see how wrong they are. 
I'm going after the cult, you know. You've seen our numbers. You've seen what I can do, and you still think you stand a chance? Try me. So having guts runs in the family, does it? <laughs> you claim we have the same blood? So let's see what you can do. You're being an asshole. You'll have to be stronger than that. Divorce! <sighs> Malaka. He wrote the lot. He needs to know about this. <sighs> Was the legend true? Was it magnificent? What happened to you? And your spear? Slow down, Herodothos. My spear is stronger now. I can feel it. You were right. There was some kind of artifact there. It showed me a vision of me and my mother. So, the ancient civilization is real. Alexios, you have no idea the power you possess. All harnessed in Leonidas' spear. That's not everything. Demos followed me here. The cult's already moving, she told me herself. They're going after us, my family, Pericles. Why would she tell you? Unless it was a trap. It doesn't matter. We have to get to Athens to warn Pericles, and we need to find my mother before they do. Then, we go to the Peniques. If Pericles is anywhere, he's there. There's much to do. That debris could be useful. At the bottom of the sea, I suppose. No, pirates, a lot of them. <laughs> Only pirates? When you're ready, meet me at the Pneeks in Athens. Away we go! together now for the glory of Athens! Glory for you! <laughs> Friend, friends, please! Just because the Spartans are near our walls does not mean we can act like them! A good crop! Shame the Spartans burn the fields where it grew! The Parthenon is glorious, Pericles, but at what cost? How many tree dams could we have built instead? We must not become divided! We are divided! And the Spartans are winning! Act, Pericles, or I will! Oh, good. You came. Things are worse than I feared. Cleon has turned the mob. We have to hurry. Where? To Pericles. Stay back! He is no threat to Pericles. I assure you. Ah, Herodotus. It's fine. Let them through. It's good to see you again, Pericles. 
And you as well. I only wish it were under better circumstances. And who's this? Alexios. Welcome, Alexios. And what did you think of your first taste of Athens? Nothing to say? Others would do well to realize silence is as much of an answer as anything else. A crowd will seize the very first easy answer that comes its way, like a hungry dog on a bone. Pericles, we've come to... We must choose our moment wisely, and speak our words more privately. Fine. We've come to you on urgent business. As does everybody. I may have told Alexios you'd invite him to your symposium. You'd ask me to exclude every Athenian and invite an outsider instead. You heard the crowd. They don't need another reason to hate me. If he's working for you, maybe the prying eyes will see him as a servant. I'm no one's servant. Alexios, this is Athens. If you want something, sometimes you have to play a role. And what exactly is it that you want? I'm looking for a woman who's very important to me. Herodotus said the symposium could be useful for gaining information. He would be correct. I can get you in, although I can't promise the information you seek will be found. Just tell me what to do. First, check on my colleague, Mediochos. He was meant to meet me today, and it's not like him to miss an appointment. Done. My friend, Phidias, needs to be taken out of Athens as soon as possible. Anything else? Yes. There is an ostracism vote taking place that could use your... Uh, influence. Meteochos, you said he was your colleague? A politician and ally. He's one of my most loyal friends. Phidias, the famous sculptor? What did he do exactly? He stands accused of multiple offenses and is awaiting trial. You'll find him under close guard at his workshop. Ostracism? Exile is a term you may be more familiar with. Here in Athens, we vote between two people to decide who should leave. It's between the sophist Anaxagoras and another man on trial for impiety. My contact near the Agora will give you the details. I'll do it. I'll expect you to use discretion. That went well. It isn't exactly an invitation, but the promise of one is just as good. Although I'm sure he'll still ask Aspasia if it's okay. So long as it comes. that sent you here. I'd have been eaten alive if it weren't for you. I don't think they'd eat you. But they would have certainly killed me. So thank you. My life-saving services aren't free. Of course. Pericles sent me. He was worried about you. Do you often get tied up and surrounded by snakes? How can you joke about this? Thugs broke into my home. Dragged me here, tied me up, and surrounded me with these hideous creatures. They must be stopped. The snakes? The thugs! Why would anyone do this? Politicians are easy targets in these troubled times. When they tied me up, they said I was a snake. That I should die by my own kind. 
Did you recognize the people who did this? Pericles asked me to go down to the fishing district and talk with the poor and sick to give them hope. That's how I recognized their voices. Oh, yes. They threw rotten food and yelled insults at me. These thugs disguised their faces, but their voices and the stench of fish were unmistakable. Where should I look? I couldn't see their faces, but I recognized their voices from one of the districts I visited. They're regulars at Cleon's rallies. They live in the flooded part of the city, near the wall. I'll track them down, Metiochos. Don't worry. Tensions are high right now. At this rate, we'll tear each other apart within the city before the Spartans can breach the walls. Part of Athens, I doubt Pericles is proud to talk about. There has to be a clue around here somewhere. Snakes. Like the ones that were meant to kill Metiochos. Looks like the thugs who attacked Metiochos weren't the masterminds behind this plot. Hmm, snake bites. And someone hid the body. Though I have a feeling this death was an accident. This must be the house of Metiochos' attackers. But the letter proves they're just tools in someone else's plan. Whose? What the fuck are you doing sniffing around my house? You attacked Metiochos. I found the snakes, the letter from your friend, and a body. All here. Ah, oh, poor Actis. We all knew the risks. Chains don't happen without a bit of blood being spilled. Why kill Meteochos with snakes? We're prisoners in our own city. Because of Pericles and his crooked friends. The snake dealer told us it's time to send a message. Time they suffered. You can't take the law into your own hands. Now I need to decide what to do with you. Cleon says it's time we took the city back from the elite. Time to fight. Don't matter what you do to us, there will be others who follow our lead. I know someone gave you those snakes. They used you to do their dirty work. I want to know who. He's a real hero of Athens. No puppet of Pericles is going to stop him. Tell me what I want to know, or I'll cut you down right now. Your cause will be forgotten, and so will you. All right, all right. He's got a camp just outside the walls. Sells his snakes from there. You've crossed a line. Now you must pay the price. We will never surrender to the likes of you. We will make Athens great again. Athens of the snake seller.
dead should keep friends of Pericles safe. Looks like your situation's improved since we last met. The danger has passed for now. But while those monsters are out there, no one is safe. A group of fishermen tied you up. They were being used by a snake dealer working for enemies of Athens. What did you do with them? I gave them what the gods demanded. Justice. The punishment seems fair. Still, it pains me to see sons and daughters of Athens turning against one another. They tried to kill you. If I hadn't arrived when I did, they would have succeeded. Thank you for your help, Mistios. I'll be sure to mention it to Pericles. go any further it isn't often you see a guard outside of an artist's workshop I just do what I'm told stranger and until I'm told otherwise no one is going in or out stand aside this is important so is keeping people out maybe you can see Phidias after his trial if the people spare his life listen I'm working for Pericles he wants me to see Phidias. Well, I'm working for the people of Athens, and they want Phidias dead. Now back off, or you're dead too. I tried to be nice. I really did.
Sorry about that. How did you get past the guard? No one gets past the guard. Relax. Pericles sent me. Ah, praise Athena. I knew he'd send help. I was worried they sent someone after me. They? Who? The shadows in the night. Why you fear falling asleep? They're hunting me. Us. No one is safe in Athens anymore. The Cult of Cosmos. You know about them. Of course I know about the cult. Here, look at this. These are instructions. On how to kill me. But they've been torn. Then Pericles isn't just getting you out of Athens to save you from the trial. He's saving you from being murdered. I don't know who to trust. I'm just an artist. I just wanted to create. Please, what am I to do? First, you need to pull yourself together. You're on trial. The people are against you. And now I find that the cult want to kill you. Uh... I said pull yourself together. Yes, of course. Cleon said you're wasting the people's rachmi. If he had his way, he'd serve them your head. Cleon mentioned me? That's going to hurt Pericles. First impiety, now theft. After all we've done for this city. You and Pericles seem close. For Pericles and me, it started with our love of Athens. Our differences push us to greatness. That is true friendship. You and Pericles... For... All right, we need to go. Do you have any idea where I can take you? South of Athens, there's an island called Serifos. My friend Theras lives there. When I discovered the plot against me, I sent word to him. If anyone can help us, he can. Good. Any clues he has of the cultist identities, I want them. Yes, yes, anything. A guard! I'll distract them while you sneak out. Meet me tonight to set sail for Serifos. Don't show your face until you see me at the docks. I understand. You didn't think you could attack one of us and get away with it, did you? Come on and fight! If I meditate, maybe Phidias will be here when I'm done. Good. You made it. I was beginning to worry. I told you I'd get you out of Athens. So you did. Can your friend be trusted? Theras and I have been friends for a long time. I just sent word telling him where to meet us. Wasting time will only get us into trouble. Let's head to Serifos while we still can. I've called home. Start throwing!
It's good to see you alive and well, Thidias. And you, Thiras. As you can see, I didn't get here alone. Ah, yes. The kind and thoughtful hero you mentioned in your letter. If I wasn't getting something out of it, he'd be dead already. And for that heroism, I found some information on a man named Brisson who's plotting Phidias' early demise. Hopefully you can make something of this clue. I can. Please give Pericles my thanks and my farewell. And be careful. I still believe many in Athens are in danger. You must be the one Pericles sent. I am. He said there is an ostracism vote, but didn't tell me what I'm here to do. Of course he didn't. That's what I'm for. If someone is exiled, can they return? If they do, they'll be punished. What does someone have to do to be ostracized? Anyone seen as a threat to the city or the people is enough. And then it is up to the vote. Some have been ostracized for simply being more disliked than the person they're up against. What's my role in this? The votes have already been cast. We don't have long before they're counted. Take the Ostraka in this bag and exchange them with the ones currently under guard. You want me to rig the ostracism? Pericles does. And he has his reasons, I'm sure. Bring me the bag you took from the room and I'll take care of the rest. No one will see me go in or out. Stay here. Goods from all over the Greek world. You wouldn't think this city was besieged by an army of Spartans. Join my crew, and you'll be paid well.
should do it. I should let Pericles' contact know. Quickly. What are you going to do with them? Dump them in a well. Ah, it looks like the official has arrived. I apologize for the delay. There was evidence someone attempted to tamper with the votes. Don't worry. The Ostraka are all accounted for. The votes were counted, and Araxagoras is to be ostracized. Be slow to fall into friendship, but once you do, continue firm and constant. It will be more difficult for me now that Anaxagoras must leave Athens. We were quite close, although he and Pericles were much closer. It's strange, Pericles wasn't here today to defend him. Would Pericles normally defend someone? A good friend? Of course. Yet, Anaxagoras seems pleased with the result. This day has brought more questions than answers. You said you were close. He was like a mentor to me. Many of my best thoughts came to fruition through our conversations. Who are you? Ask anyone and they'll tell you Socrates. But a name gives you nothing. Our actions determine who we are, and every action has its pleasures and its price. With that said, then, who do you claim to be? I know the price of actions. I have to as a mercenary. That simple piece of information tells me more about you than your name ever could. Explaining oneself must be carefully done. Explaining myself would take more time than I have. Then let us focus on a single recent event. Tell me, as a mercenary, is there anything you wouldn't do? Everything has a price. And you're the one who decides when the pay is worth it. I don't have the luxury of turning down a job. What of duty, the greater good? Are they not their own kind of payment? No, they're not. It seems you know yourself well. But no, it is better to change one's thoughts than to persist in those that are wrong. My thoughts are fine. You are clearly someone who would do whatever you feel is necessary. Perhaps for Drachmi, or maybe to further a personal goal. That describes a lot of people. I suppose I'm curious why you did it. How could I not be, when you're the reason my friend is being forced to leave the only home he's ever known? I did what I was asked to do. And your needs are greater than those of the man you helped ostracize. Still, you raise a fine point. Who is more responsible? Anaxagoras for getting himself mixed up in this, or you for simply sealing his fate? I'm not responsible for his actions. I have one thing to think about, my own. Then I hope you also think about today, about Anaxagoras, about choice. Socrates, there you are. Here I am. You're late. They're all waiting for you. I wish to see Anaxagoras' fate, and so I have. Tell them I'm on my way. Well, it seemed our conversation is at its end. Although I hope it isn't the final one we have. I wouldn't know. That's everything Pericles wanted. 
Time to return to him and find out what these Athenians know about my mother. We'll be watching you, Mister. At least you can. <laughs> It's you! Phoebe! You said you weren't coming back to Kefalonia, so I decided to leave too. I said I wouldn't be coming back, but I don't remember saying you should leave. Well, here I am. How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some draft me working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe... I needed a drachmi for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So, you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry, I'll take care of them. You don't want to scare people in there. Well... How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No. She asked me on her own. That was lucky. I think I'm ready to go in. You can't! Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. There's no way I'm wearing that. But if you don't... I mean it, Phoebe. You have to leave your weapons here, though. Fine. Don't say I didn't warn you. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry, you've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. Here, Alexios. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made his grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotos. Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? Perhaps you're... Individual fashion sense would get their memories working. Now then, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of their opinionated tongues. Ah, Sophocles and Euripides, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every pivis. <laughs> <laughs> it looks more like a lover's quarrel to me. Ermipos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. I 
I'm not sure great is the term I would use. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachus. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh, he never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates, always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for love. Let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good, and don't drink too much. So, tell me, what does a Mystios like you think of a party like this? This is going to be a long night. Parties should be about vomiting up blood, not vomiting up poetry. These people are so clean. If these guests aren't to your own unique tastes, then just focus on why you came here in the first place. Thank you, Herodotos. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere, and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your sister said. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mother. Me too. Amistios? Here? I suppose they've sent you to mock me for my fight with Evripides. There's a war at the city walls. Suffering, starvation. And you're in here arguing because someone at the party isn't giving you the attention you need? That's no way to calm down someone who is obviously upset. Uh, no. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I really made a fool of myself this time, didn't I? I'm Sophocles, though I'm sure you knew that. And you are? I am looking for information that'll help me find someone. A Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to Evripides. He's the second most worldly man here. That pediculous Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. You want to get Evripides drunk. Are you hoping he's going to make an even bigger scene than you did? Ha! We both know that's not possible. But you're a feisty one, to say the least. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when every piece is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me, how does Pericles know you? I'm the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to Evripides, lover of Asclepios, father of theater, and so on, and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. You're awfully worked up over Evripides. You sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, Evripides and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with that banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. I'll get the wine. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. 
You! You shouldn't be in here. What do you want? I've come to get your finest dry wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. A mysterious in Pericles' abode? <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. You must have seen me doing my impression of Hermipus. I call it the dejected weasel. <laughs> Tell me, what does it think? Did you just call me it? Watch your mouth, Athenian. It speaks, and so feisty too. Sometimes I wonder if I'm doomed to be the only young and beautiful thing here. So, what do they call you? Alexios. Hmm, I wouldn't peg you as an Alexios, but never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Evripides. Oh, go on, introduce yourself. I'm Evripides. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old Evripides likes to say. Don't you, Evripides? When I need to relax, I start to fight. For you, though. Quickly! Bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, shall we? You and Aristophanes could both use a drink. Let's play a game. A competition? Ah, wonderful idea. Every pity seems quiet, but he never turns down a challenge. Well, if you brought us some wine, I wouldn't be opposed to showing this young one how we are gives drink. To the Onisos. This, this is delicious. This is nectar of the gods. Another round. Why don't you just apologize to Sophocles? It's he who should apologize to you. Sophocles is a friend, and one good friend is worth an entire family. He just needs time to recover from his outburst. How about some more? Where did you find this delicious wine? It must be Pericles' finest. You know what they say, good wine makes good friends. Pericles has invited all of you here for some reason. Either we dine here and praise Pericles, or we dine with Cleon. But Cleon has all the charm of a typical politician. A horrible voice, bad breathing, and vulgar manners. Ready for another? This is the best symposium I've been to in a while. You know what? I like you. Who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every Pidis, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she would trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. Hippocrates in Argos. Here I come. How's every Pidis? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every Pidis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? <laughs> Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact, or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Ha! Ha! 
Someone's being hurt. Open this door, or I'll kick it in! Oh, 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 don't mind her. She likes to watch. Look at you. Such authority. Such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. I thought this party was tame, even by Athenian standards. Until now. Let them have their meeting of the minds. I'm more interested in meeting other parts. Ali, we're out of oil again. Ali? You know they like you when they give you a pet name. There's more olive oil in the kitchen. But Aspasia keeps complaining about me walking unencumbered through her symposiums. You mean naked? Mm, it sounds so good when you say it. I come bearing gifts. <gasps> We're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons, and these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to join us? Time for some fun. You'll have to help me get out of my clothes. Gladly. If you like, we can feed them to the god. There's another god? Now it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. Prostitutes? This is serious. They don't like being called that. And for good reason, they offer so much more than their bodies. Such as? These women are companions, counselors, confidants. Powerful men come to the Etera asking for advice and value their words more than those of their closest friends and advisors. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. I admit, I'm surprised to see you here, but everything has a price, as you said. I can't help but wonder what price you paid to gain entry to the symposium. Keep wondering. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? You've been arguing a single point all night and no one has a black eye? You have my attention. We're discussing the nature of rules. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasymachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. 
That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! This argument between you two is pointless. Perhaps. How do you define art? I'm not getting dragged into this. Very well. Answer this. Does the artist not give form and symmetry to her subject? Well, yes. Laws and justice do much the same for people, do they not? And is there any better way to communicate the story of a people than by revealing its customs and laws? If yes, then ruling, and thus justice, must be an art, as Thrasimachos says. If you say so. Aspasia. You shouldn't be too hard on Socrates. He really has a brilliant mind, even if he comes off a little strong. He isn't always like that, is he? Ah, Phoebe. Bericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Alexios can help. Everyone listens when he talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Alexios will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. Your spies have been watching me. I knew you people couldn't be trusted. We do what we have to to survive, and there's no shame in that, believe me. Hm. You make an interesting choice, Alexios, in not dressing to fit in. Fit in? Fancy clothes wouldn't help me fit in. Your Athenian hitons are strange to me. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now and do it discreetly. I'm searching for a woman who fled Sparta with her child years ago. I was hoping you might help. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Uh -huh. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. Alexios. I don't recall sending for you, Miss Theos. Phoebe shouldn't have let you in here. You've been hiding from your guests long enough. Aspasia seems to think so too. Ah, uh, she usually does. Technically, you're a guest. 
If you join Herodotus and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but... One day, when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. I don't understand why you had Anaxagoras ostracized. Socrates said he was your friend. I won't risk the lives of those close to me if there's something I can do about it. So you did this to protect him? Anaxagoras understood my fears. Ten years may be a long time, but at least he'll be safe. Why send Metiochos to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Herodotus was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to him, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm... related to one of the cult members. And I believe her when she says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia, send me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need a weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? There is a woman in Corinth I'd like to talk to. I've heard about that place from Alcibiades. He says you don't go there to talk. Alcibiades says a lot of things. He sure does. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia. About Kefalonia. What is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think... My friend, the blood fever. Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this plague even happened. Okay? Okay. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Alexios! <laughs> <laughs> 